from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Tuesday, August the 10th, 2021. A Palestinian woman tried to stab Israeli soldiers in the West Bank last night. The IDF tweeted yesterday that troops spotted a suspect who drew a knife and attempted to stab an IDF soldier who was operating south of Nablus. The troops operated to stop the assailant. No IDF injuries were reported. The incident took place near the Yitzhar Junction. The suspect was said to have been shot in the leg and taken to the hospital for treatment. Israel's foreign minister, Yair Lapid, is heading to Morocco tomorrow to represent the state of Israel, he tweeted today, and to inaugurate the Israeli delegation in the capital of Rabat. Lapid said the historic journey is a continuation of a long-standing friendship and a deep connection of roots and tradition of a Jewish community in Morocco and a large community of Israelis with roots in Morocco. The two-day official visit is the first by an Israeli foreign minister since 2003. Israel's newly elected president, Isaac Herzog, shared today that he spoke yesterday over the phone with U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris. Herzog wrote, we discussed the importance of continuing to deepen relations between Israel and the United States, our most important ally. Herzog wrote the vice president expressed support for Israel and stressed the United States' commitment to the security and resilience of the state of Israel. Harris's office was cited as saying that Harris also reiterated the U.S. commitment to a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict and to advancing freedom, security, dignity, and opportunity for people on both sides. Herzog also spoke to Harris about, he said, the paramount importance in taking action to eradicate anti-Semitism and lauded the Biden administration for its recent appointment of Professor Deborah Lipstadt to the U.S. anti-Semitism envoy. A special group Aliyah flight of new immigrants to Israel from North America, including 12 future lone soldiers, landed in Israel this week. The special Nefesh Benefesh flight was in cooperation with the Ministry of Aliyah and Integration, the Jewish Agency for Israel, Karen Kayemet Israel, JNF USA, and Sofim Garin Sabar. Lone soldiers are young men and women who come to serve in the IDF on their own and receive support from Nefesh Benefesh, as well as from the friends of the IDF. The 12 who arrived this week are among 161 lone soldiers expected this summer from North America, and Immigration Minister Panina Tamano Shata said, we will make sure that they feel at home here. She said, I and the whole nation of Israel salute them. And that's the JBS News Update for Tuesday, August the 10th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.